Hi there, I'm Mike. What up to you today is a Zanini box, another one, because this guy keeps sending them to me. This is November's Zanini box and October isn't even over. That's one of my favorite things about these. Now, if you are not a fan of enamel pins, you could probably just stop watching now, unless you just like watching me talk about stuff for like, I don't know, five to seven minutes. So if you've never watched the Zanini box, um, it's, not an unbo it's not a box, it's not a box, it's not an unboxing, it's a package and it's an unpacking, I guess an unenveloping, whatever you want to call it. I'm taking things out of something and showing them to you. The way the Zanini box works is there are three levels. Now they just renamed the levels. So now instead of tier one, two, and three, it's basic, standard, and premium. My guess is they just sound a little bit better than tiers. I, I don't really know, I don't really care. Nothing else is different, it's just a name change. So part of the basic package, which costs $7.99, and if you wanna get this, you can use my name, my case, right down there, get 10% off your very first order uh, if you like these. So again, these are just enamel pins. And the first one here is Harry Potter. One of the things I like about Zanini Box is it just gives me a chance to talk about properties at almost random. I was a staunch anti-Harry Potter person, not for religious reasons, although I grew up very religious. I just saw it as like a poor man's Tolkien. I was that snob that was like, mm, if I'm going to read fantasy, I'm going to read real fantasy. And that's that's not who I am anymore. At least it's not who I want to be anymore. You know, I eventually read the Harry Potter series and I watched the movies, obviously. Some of the movies are good, some of them uh, not so much. It's actually, it's enjoyable. It, it's, it's, it's an enjoyable series. I genuinely like it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So that's the first pin, Harry Potter. Next, near and dear to my heart, next we have Master Splinter here from uh, the Ninja Turtles. And man, they even went with like classic animated Splinter, not uh, like movie Splinter or anything like that. I genuinely love this pin. Obviously, if you watched any of my channel before, I talk about the Ninja Turtles very frequently. I have been a big fan of Ninja Turtles. I remember the day I became a Ninja Turtles fan. It was the day I bought my very first Ninja Turtles toy without even seeing the cartoon. That's the second pin. And then the last pin on this is uh, Liu Kang. Now, uh, I grew up on the Street Fighter side of the Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. I've never been a fan of the controls for Mortal Kombat, but that doesn't mean I didn't like the characters. In fact, I would go so far as to say is I like the characters and character designs of Mortal Kombat over Street Fighter. I just like Street Fighter as a game more, personally. Liu Kang's not my favorite Mortal Kombat person, Mortal, Com Mortal Combatant, I guess. He's like the Mario of the franchise, if there is a main character. At least he was the main character of the movie, kind of. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'm way open to being wrong. That's just kind of what I got out of it. So that's part of the basic plan. The next plan is the standard plan. That's two bucks more, and it adds one more pin on top of that. And this one, we've got Captain Marvel from, obviously from Marvel. The, it looks like the Brie Larson Marvel, but it's hard to tell because I'll be honest, not a good likeness there. She has weird alien almond eyes. She doesn't look right. I don't know if it's supposed to be like binary where her eyes are glowing. That's the only thing I can think here. She doesn't have any pupil. It's weird. I'm not a fan of how that looks. I like Captain Marvel. I like the movie. I like the comic, you know, I like all of that stuff. <laughs> I just don't like that pen. That's just a weird looking pen. And lastly, we have the premium plan. This one's two bucks more, so it's eleven ninety nine. So we got seven ninety nine, nine ninety nine, eleven ninety nine. You got, you get it, you get it. This one is, I think, finishing up their GI Joe series. I think this one's the last one, or maybe the next one's the last one. But honestly, Zanini Box, I'm just gonna say rethink that, man. You can keep GI Joe going for a long time before I get tired of it. But this one adds Flint to the mix right here, and man, do I love Flint. I always like Duke a little better because he was a leader but uh, I always liked Flint's uh, like shotgun shell suspenders. I think I've said this every time. I've grown up on G.I. Joe. I love G.I. Joe. I would've liked to have gotten a couple more Cobra characters. Like we, we got Cobra Commander, but I would've liked a Destro or... I think we got Storm Shadow. So we got a couple of Cobra characters, although Storm Shadow eventually went to the Joes. Flint's good. I just want more characters. I want more of these. I would actively subscribe. I would pay money for this for the premium one. But uh, Transformers, man, if you can do G.I. Joe, do Transformers, I would love that. That would be great. Just a little tidbit for you, Mr. Zanini. But that's it, that's it for the unboxing. What I wanna do right now is I just kinda wanna, I wanna order these in greatest to least uh, here. We've got G.I. Joe's the best. Master Splinter is second for me. Luke Kang's number three. Uh, Harry Potter is number four. And then Captain Marvel is bringing up the rear and she's, 
Probably, I would say, of all the pins I've got from Zanini Box so far, Captain Marvel's probably, this is probably my least favorite pin, just because I honestly genuinely think that this doesn't look good. That's all, that's all. It's like the first pin I've gotten from them where I'm like, I don't, I don't like that. That's it for my Zanini Box unboxing, unbagging, unpackaging, whatever you want to call it. That's what I call it too. Thanks for getting this far. Again, don't forget to check out the downstairs area. If you want to buy one, use my code. It's just, you get a little discount. You know, why not? I should have said this at the beginning. Uh, he sends these to me for free. So I don't pay for these, but I do like getting them. I try to be very, uh, conscientious of things like that. I don't let it sway my opinion, but I think for the 12 bucks you pay to get, you know, five pins, that's not bad. Uh, if you like pins, if you don't like pins, you probably don't care. But the thing is about pins is you might like the properties of from enough to maybe drop 12 bucks on it. Like would I drop 12 bucks just to get the GI Joe figure and give away the rest of some friends? Like I might, honestly, I might. So while you're down there looking at that link, you can also check out my Patreon if you want to. And I'm just gonna take a moment to think these people who support my unboxing level on Patreon. If you want your name on this list, feel free to visit my Patreon, see if it's right for you. If it's not, that's fine. You can also help out my channel a couple different ways. You can like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. I like that. It helps out the channel a lot without, you know, really costing you anything. So awesome. But with that, that's it. Thanks so much for getting this far and I'll see you later. Bye.